सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन शेफ फैक्टर ऑफ होलो सर्कुलर रिंग्स व्हिच आर को एक्सियल एंड आर पैरल टू ईच अदर वी विल रीड द गिवन क्वेश्चन फाइंड द शेफ फैक्टर बिटवीन एरियाज वन एंड टू व्हिच आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ होलो सर्कुलर रिंग्स व्हिच आर को एक्सियल एंड आर इन टू पैरल प्लेन्स एट अ डिस्टन्स ऑफ टेन सेंटीमीटर Area 2 has inner radius of 8 cm and outer radius 20 cm. Area 1 has inner radius 5 cm and outer radius of 10 cm. Given that the shape factor between two circular areas are in parallel plane distance d apart with r1 and r2 as a radii is f of r1 to r2 is equal to half in the bracket Z minus under under root of Z square minus 4 e square d square bracket complete, where Z is equal to 1 plus in the bracket 1 plus e square bracket complete d square, where e is equal to r2 by d and d is equal to d by r1. Let us first understand the given data with the help of diagram. Hollow rings of area A1 and A2 are given. Now, for the ring area A1, inner radius is 5 cm and outer radius is 10 cm. In the same way, ring of area A2 is having inner radius 8 cm and outer radius 20 cm. These two rings are coaxial and distance in between these two rings d is equal to 10 cm. now if we observe because these two rings are the hollow rings how we can define this area a1 for the hollow ring so for that we have to mention the area of this central hole a3 and this total area is a4 so a1 is equal to a4 minus a3 in the same way we will mention here for this ring to a This uh, area for the central hole A5 and total area A6. So we can define here A2 is equal to A6 minus A5. Now what is the question? Question is that we have to find out shape factor of this ring one with respect to ring two. So how we can define this shape factor? So shape factor is also known as surface factor, configuration factor, or view factor. So shape factor. One to two. That means the fraction of radiations emitted by this surface area A one will reaches to the surface area A two. That is known as f of one to two. Now we will write one equation by using reciprocity theorem in between these two areas. That is the between the surface A one and surface area A two. So how we can write this equation between the surfaces 1 and 2 we will write here a1 f of 1 to 2 is equal to a2 f of 2 to 1 now how we can define this f of 2 to 1 because here two number is we have written first and then one that means the fraction of radiations emitted by the surface 2 reaches to the surface 1 now we will again define this that is f of 2 to 1 that is this area a1 now how we can calculate this area a1 so for that we have to take this total area 4 minus this central hole area 3 so how we can redefine this so again we have to use here the summation theorem that is used for the shape factor so i will rewrite this A one f of one to two is equal to a two in the bracket. Now f of two to one, how we can write? Now for this surface area one, we will write a one is equal to a four minus a three. So I will write here shape factor from two to four minus shape factor from two to three. So I will write a two in the bracket f of two to four minus f of two to three. So this is the equation number one. Now, how we can write this f of two to four? So again, we have to develop the shape factor equation in between the surfaces two to 
4. Now we will observe here the surface area 2 and surface area 4. So this is the surface area 2 for this solid area for the ring. And surface area 4 that is this total area for the ring 1 that is the solid area plus central hole. Now in between surfaces 2 and 4 by the reciprocity theorem we will develop here one equation that is a2 f of 2 to 4 is equal to a4 f of 4 to 2. Now again if we observe f of 4 to 2 that is the radiations emitted by this whole surface a4 towards the area a2. Now this a2 area a2 that is nothing but the area only for this solid ring that I have mentioned here with lines. So how we can define this area a2? That is total area a6 minus central hole that is a5. So again we have to rewrite here for this 4 to 2. That is we will write here how we can write f of 4 to 2. That is f of 4 to 6 minus f of 4 to 5. So we have to write f of 4 to 6 minus f of 4 to 5. Now on the right hand side there is a2. So I will transfer this a2 to the denominator. So it equation will become f of 2 to 4 is equal to a4 by a2. f of 4 to 6 minus f of 4 to 5. So in this way we will get the value for this f of 2 to 4. Now if we observe this f of 4 to 6 that is we can easily write here what is this total area that is a4 and here 6 that is the total area for this a6. Then we will move to the next. So next is we have to find out this f of 2 to 3. Now again we will observe here. Here is the surface area a2 that is for solid and 3 that means this is for area for the central hole. So again we will write the reciprocity theorem in between the surface 2 and 3. So again I will write a2 f of 2 to 3 which is equal to a3 f of 3 to 2. Now again for this area 2 if we observe this is the solid area that is we have to rewrite this or redefine this area a2 that is a6 minus a5. So how we can write? So f of 3 to 2 we can write here f of 3 to 6 minus f of 3 to 5. So we will write here in the bracket. So this a2 we will transfer to the right hand side. So we will get the value of f of 2 to 3. So this is the value for f of 2 to 3. Now if we observe we can put these two values in terms of area and shape factor from equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1. So we will write here. So this a2 I will transfer to the left hand side. So it will become a1 by a2 f of 1 to 2 is equal to. Now f of 2 to 4 means what? Is equal to f of uh, a, a 4 by a2 in the bracket f of 4 6 minus f of 4 5 minus now f of 2 to 3 how we can write f of 2 to 3 that is a3 by a2 in the bracket f of 3 6 minus 3 5 if we observe the given data in the question then we have to take for area a3 radius r1 is equal to 5 centimeter so we have to convert it into meter and in the same way for this area A4, we have to consider radius R1 is equal to 10 cm. Then in the same way, for area A5, we have to consider radius R2 8 cm. And for area A6, we will consider radius R2 that is equal to 20 cm. Now we will first find out this right hand side shape factors that is F of 4 to 6. Now this f of 4 to 6 that is the shape factor in between this area that is this uh, area a4 and area a6. So how to find out this? So for that it is mentioned in the question first find out value of e. So e is equal to r2 by d. So what is this r2? So r2 is related to this ring 2. So for this ring 2 there is area a6 and for this area a6 radius is 
20 centimeters so we will convert it into meter that is 0 0.2 divided by d so d that is the distance in between these two rings that is 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 meter so e is equal to 2 now calculate the value of capital d so capital d is equal to small d by r1 so small d is 0 0.1 and r1 so r1 that is it is related to this area A4 that is ring 1. So R1 that is equal to 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 meter. So value of D is 1. Now calculate the value of Z. So Z is equal to 1 plus in the bracket 1 plus E square D square that is 1 plus 1 plus 2 square bracket complete 1 square that is equal to 6. Now how to calculate F of 4 to 6 that is the equation in between f of r1 r2 is given so what is this r1 so r1 that is we have mentioned for this area a4 10 so we can say that f of 4 and r2 that is we have taken here r2 that is for area a6 20 that is we will consider here 6 that is f of 4 to 6 we will get half into z minus a square root of z square minus 4 e square d square so we will put the values and we will get 0 0.7639 in the same way we will find out what is the shape, shape factor that is f of 4 to 5 so if we observe f of 4 to 5 is related to area a4 and area a5 so for this R1 we have to consider as a 10 cm that is 0 0.1 meter and R2 we have to consider 8 cm that is 0 0.08 meter. So if we put this value then we will get the final uh, value F of 4 to 5 0 0.27. Now F of 3 to 6 because next value is F of 3 to 6 that is it is related to area A3 and area A6. So R1 we have to consider here that is radius of A3 that is 5 cm that is 0 0.05 meter and for area A6 we have to consider 20 cm that is R2 that is 0 0.2 meter. So what is the value 0 0.7917 then F of 3 to 5 so it is related to area A3 and area A5 so for area A3 R1 0 0.05 meter and for the area A5 R2 is equal to 0 0.08 meter. So answer is 0 0.3553. Now we will calculate the values of area A1, A2, A3 and A4. So how to find out area A1? So this area A1 is the area for this solid ring that is area A4 minus A3. So we know that area for this circular ring that is equal to pi r square. So we have to take pi here r4 square minus r3 square that is we have to take here as a pi in the bracket 0 0.1 square minus 0 0.05 square because we have to take these values in meter. So answer is 0 0.236. Now what is area a2? So area a2 is also pi in the bracket 0 0.2 square minus 0 0.08 square. That is uh, 0 0.1056. Then A3 is equal to. So area A3 that is area for this central hole. That is pi into R square. That is pi into 0 0.05 square. That is 0 0.007854. And A4. A4 that is this total area A4. That is pi into this 0 0.1 square. That is 0 0.0314 meter square. Now we have to put all these values that is area A1 by A2 is known and we will take here F of 1, 2 so this is the unknown then area A4 by A2 that is also known then F of 4, 6 that we have calculated minus F of 4, 5 that is 0 0.27 minus A3 by A4 that we have to put here values in the bracket F of 3, 6 that we have to take this minus F of 3, 5 that is 0. 3553. So if we put all the values then we will get the answer f of 1 to 2 that is equal to 0 0.5123.